Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a review of Trey Wayne's Combine card. 96 speed when he's chemmed out, and ignore those X's through his speed. That is chemmed out, and that's why he's got 96. Otherwise, 92 uh, acceleration, 89 agility. So, really, speed is what he's got in the acceleration agility. Not so hot. Man coverage, 90. Zone coverage, 93. Press, 95. That's pretty darn good press for man coverage. 89 play rec, 75 catch. Tackling's only 50. Uh, his, where we're looking for... Block shedding there, 61. So 61 block shedding, not terrible for like what you'd expect out of a, a guy Trey Waynes' size. So play rec, 89, we talked about that. Zone coverage, uh, spec catch and catch in traffic in their 70s. So good, decent catching stat. Obviously not top tier catching stat, but when I saw his 96 speed, I was like, this guy's an edge, pre this guy's an edge pressure for me. Because the thing is, a lot of people, a lot of the competitive players like to use somebody like Deion Sanders coming off the edge. So they've got huge speed. I think Deion's got a little bit better acceleration, though. Uh, but uh, that's where I put him. I also dropped him coverage a little bit. But, like, the way he can close on the quarterback with his speed, like, it doesn't make the controller vibrate as much for the opponent. So he kind of, like, he's upon him right before anything happens. But, like, look at them. Look at him. Yeah, block. He shed a block in the run stuff. And he's not going to lay any big hits. And that's why I didn't want him at one or two. Because I run a lot of cover two, um, if, I ran, if I was more traditional, like, cover three defense, then maybe I would run him a little bit more at the one or two because he'd be deeper and he'd be uh, able to stop like deep passes. But because of the way you can one play touchdown cover three and uh, swerve cover three so easily in Madden 17, um, it's really not the defense I want to see myself uh, running because it's so dangerous getting beat for the one play touchdown. And I'm kind of a bad don't break type of guy. Uh, that's kind of my fetish. I just like to... You know, kind of, I'm like a gymnast out there. Anyways, there's some more run defense getting outside of it. The speed is such a valuable thing. Now, Texas Boys sent our podcast. This Trey Waynes is the best corner in Mutt, better than that new Dion that came out. And now I, w I disagreed with him, and I still disagree with him. But per price, because it's 116,000 coins only, and the other one's going for like 2 million coins, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, depending on your price, of course. But uh, I really thought this Waynes card is great. And the, the thing is, the great part about this Waynes card is that he also activates the chems for other players. So that's why you got to have him in your lineup because the other players that go along with the speed chem, like the Kendricks and whatnot, um, are also amazing, amazing players active. The McFadden at 95 speed and etc. So I think this guy, if if you want a top tier team and like a very competitive one for not you know billions of coins, this guy needs to be on your roster in your one, two, or three spot as a cornerback. If not. As a starter or a player, you can sub him out maybe at the beginning of the game. Um, but he, great man coverage too because of the speed. Like, you know, man coverage a lot is based on speed this year. But like, see, look at that. Running stride for stride with the guy out the middle of the field and get the SWAT down. Like, that's his strength. Like, this guy covers zero blitzes, great. He's not going to get beat over the top. That's what you need. You just need a little bit of time when you're sending a heavy, like, mid blitz. There he is off the edge once again, causing a sack, fumble, and Poe just dances into the end zone for his Touchdown, six points. I was going to try to make a, a pole body joke, but uh, nobody would like that. So, overall, I mean, I can't see Trey leaving my lineup with the only exception of me wanting to try other cards. But I, I think you're not going to get much better of a man coverage corner for a while. I think he's going to stay on a lot of heavy man teams for a good portion of the rest of the year, um, at least until we get crazy high-speed corners. So out of 10, for man coverage system, I, I think he's higher. I run a cover two, so he's an edge blitzer uh, but in my cover two scheme. But overall, I think you're going to like this card a lot. Out of 10, I give him a 9.4. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.